Hey everyone, it's Miss Mint here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing another build and I can't actually remember the last one I did. It was probably... Oh yeah, the ASM starter house, but this is not a house, this is actually a restaurant or a cafe, and it is a bit of a dodgy one at that, so I was kind of, you know, in the mood for doing a bit of a build, you know, I know you just feel like building, so I wanted to do like a community lot, or like a restaurant or a venue, not a house, because I always do houses, and I'm kind of bored of doing houses at the moment, so I wanted to do a community lot. Um, so I decided, you know, I went on and I thought, you know what, why not do a restaurant? So I have decided to do a bit of a dodgy restaurant. So it's called the Dodgy Calf because um, it's meant to have like that rundown feel, you know, and kind of if you were perhaps starting out as a restaurant, although it is around 40,000 um, simoleons in total, it's more one of them places, you know, you go if you um, are a bit seedy or a bit dodgy. So um, it is very rough on the outside. I tried to make it seem that way with all like graffiti and tacky neon signs <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, and rubbish piles on the floor. The only problem I had with putting the rubbish piles on the floor is that the restaurant staff always go and clean them up because I did, you know, just have a bit of a test with it and the restaurant staff were always cleaning them up so you know that is the only problem but it is just there for the aesthetic of it um for the first you know initial gameplay i guess so inside is kind of it's it's retro it's not really it's not like dingy and dodgy inside it's more just um you know it's kind of it is traditional, but it, it's like it needs an update and it's a bit kind of weird inside, in a way. It's kind of the sort of place I'd imagine like gangsters to meet up at. So there's a lot of tables with just like one chair for, you know, all the loners that go here. And there's a lot of, um, there's mirrors on the wall, like mirror walls, and it's all a bit mismatched to try and give that feeling off. And there we have a neon uh, dollar sign, or simoleon sign, whatever you want to call it, I don't quite know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was experimenting with the roofing as well, because I didn't want to put, like, too much on there, you know, I wanted to keep it simple, but at the same time I wanted something, something, you know, that adds a bit of effect to the roof. I'm just kind of talking crap right now. So, um, yeah, uh, for the, um, uh, screenshots or like, you know, at the end, the pictures of the, the pictures of the lot at the end, I, um, actually moved the lot to Oasis Springs because that's kind of where I imagine it. I kind of imagine Oasis Springs as a, you know, not the neatest, tidiest world, if you get what I mean. It may be a bit run down. So I moved it to one of the cheap neighbourhoods in Oasis Springs because I felt like it fit in a bit more there, especially with like the palm trees and stuff. Although the, the like whole lighting of Oasis Springs isn't as good as for, ta for taking screenshots, you know, um, I just think it looked a bit better there. I think it suited it more. So, yeah, I would recommend putting it in Oasis Springs if you were to download it, because I will put it on the gallery yeah. sometime anyway. I probably will forget to do it, but I will try and remember to put it on the gallery because I, I tend to be quite good with that and I do tend to put them on, but I'm not sure if I've even put my last build on. Probably have, <laughs> but not too sure. So, I even put like the, um, I tried to make it more, you know, seem a bit dodgy by putting the barbed wire fence. Is it barbed wire fence? I guess, I guess so. Like, you know, the kind of like prison fence around it and, you know, just a lot of grass, a bit overgrown, so it's not perfect, it's not neat, it's not pristine, my dog is barking outside as well, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. And um, yeah, I just you know, tried to make it look a bit, you know, run down, because I, I, you, know, you know, it's just one of them, <laughs> oh my god, I'm running out of things to say, you know, I'm I'm trying to fill the time up by speaking ways, like, I tried to do this, I tried to do that, <laughs> and today it's not working, okay, it's not working. So, anyway, Back to the start, how I said um, I wanted to do about the building, I was just like, I really fancied doing a build, so I wasn't quite sure what to do, you know, you know when you want to build but you're not sure what to do and you don't really have that many ideas, well, I haven't really done that many restaurant builds, surprisingly, because 
I don't know. I, the restaurants, I do use them in the game and I do go with the odd time with my sims. It's just I don't really, I've never really ran one for a substantial amount of time. You know, I've just kind of got, I've not really stuck with it, you know. Um, but this might be um because this is actually i've built this like my personal game so it might be something i use for that but i feel like i would like to use this restaurant to run because it's kind of got like a kind of it's got like a story to it it's got that sort of you know very unique and story it's like a <laughs> you know it's got like a story behind it what who goes there what what is it like you know um what sort of food they serve there which i'm sure is pretty pretty crap and i also wanted to put um as well like a little bar in there but it wasn't working so i ended up just putting some counters there and using it as kind of like a um a serving table you know where you get the uh like condiments and you get your bit of um uh, tomato sauce and mustard and <laughs> stuff like that. Gosh, what the hell am I doing? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of tried to make it look a bit like that. There isn't that many, like, ketchup bottles in The Sims 4, surprisingly. But there are a few on there. And there's just... The, the seats are pretty... Pretty... Mi um, pretty mismatch as well. So, the furniture doesn't really coordinate. It's all a bit mismatched. But that's... I like it because it kind of gives a story off of that you know it kind of makes you think well how did it get like that was it good in the first place or has it just been crap for all of eternity so um i don't know i just i've really taken to this place it didn't actually take me that long to build which i like builds that don't take me too long it only took me about um i don't know 40 minutes so it's it didn't take me too long which is refreshing because i um I usually try to master them take forever but I was just like now nah, let's do a quick build so I feel like I've been able to you know enjoy it more and I'm pretty pleased with it I feel like it has a nice um, backstory and I feel like it has a really c different vibe you know so it's not perfect and it's not you know a family place definitely not but it is it is a little quirky uh, quirky little place um, yeah, <laughs> again, running out of things to say, and I did love, I've never really used these, you know, corner sofa things, because they're always, like, massive and take up all the space, so, um, but I thought they fit in quite well with this build, you know, with it being the kind of old and bit retro in places, and the tables are mismatched as well, so they're kind of like they just got them from a skip somewhere, and they're not too perfect, so here are the screenshots. I tried to, you know, take as many of different angles as I can, didn't quite work, because, you know, it's a small lot, um, but here's a floor plan. And here is the very dirty, dirty kitchen. And I love how it has the stolen ATM machine in there. So this is it for this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like. A comment will be really cool too. I'd love to hear what you got to say. If you have any suggestions. And please don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.